Keyboard Grading the Dashcam for the Supra. This one is a DDPAI Dual Channel Camera. Okay, so today we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna install it and we're gonna see the video footage. We're gonna see the quality of the video, okay? So let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay, one more thing that is very important. You need to get an SD card, micro SD card. Without an SD card, your camera is not gonna work because this one is the, the card that is gonna store all your files and all your videos, okay? Remember to get one. This one is at 32 gigs, so this one is good enough for this camera. So this is the dash cam that I had before. This is a three channel dash cam. But the main thing that I'm upgrading is because this one, look at the, the size difference. It's super small. <laughs> so that's why we're gonna upgrade to this one. This one is super tiny and small and this is the same quality. This is a 2K and this one is a 2K camera too. 2K resolution. So I'm gonna be using my power cord that I already have from my previous camera. Hello, Ding Ding Pi. <laughs> Hello, Ding Ding Pi. Okay. So the 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 rear camera is a different connection from my previous one. So I'm gonna remove the cable from the previous camera. I'm gonna use the new cable. Yeah, this one. So we're gonna put this one. We're gonna run it under the liner, headliner, and connect it there. I ran the cable from here and here under this piece here and then all the way here, here, under this uh, headliner, and then over there. And the extra cable is inside there, inside in this uh, space, because I don't want to have a lot of cable hanging. And then it goes over here, and it comes here, and this is my cable, and I'm gonna put the camera here. So now let's place the rear camera over here. Okay, so we're ready. Here's the camera. It's ready, I just have to adjust the view. Okay, also I have the hard wiring kit connected to my camera. So let me show you how I connect it. So it has three cables. The positive that goes to the battery to the red one. The ground, the black cable, goes to the 
ground over here. ACC. You have to connect. Let me see what is the name. ACC. This one. You have to connect it to a fuse. I have it connected to this to a fuse right here on the fuse box on the back. Okay, so three cables. One to the fuse box right there. One to the positive and one to the ground. You can use one of the ground of the battery or you can use one uh, screw or anything connected to the ground okay so it's super easy so now let's test the app and let's see how it works okay let's let's test the app you have to open the app remember the ignition of the car has to be turned on so let's open the app it says connect to the camera it's already connected you have to connect the wi-fi you have to connect it to ddpa your wi-fi and uh, with that it will connect to the app and then here on the app you can see this line these two squares or rectangles on the bottom those are the most important thing this is for the area that you have to see the cars the other one above this line is the sky okay you can put the sky there those are to align the camera okay and for the rear let's put it full screen like this okay for the rear rear you can flip the camera here you can see <laughs> nice you can flip the other one right here okay and it's recording and then you can go back here and for the settings are very simple the settings record video encoding you can remove the lines the guides you can remove that if you want i'm gonna leave it for now resolution you can put it 2k or 2k plus or 1080 for the front camera i want it 2k okay you can flip the image if your camera is in the opposite direction you can flip it flip the image on the rear camera you can flip it the microphone you can turn on turn on and turn off the microphone the start up tone when to turn on the camera i mean when you turn on the car it will say something you can turn it off here okay uh, video after taking picture 10 seconds motion i have the motion to high you can set it middle low and high that's for when the car is on the parking lot it will sense if somebody is in the front on the car okay it will start recording the parking mode parking motion after 15 seconds reset time lapse video normal recording uh, let's put normal recording yeah let's put it normal i think that's good and then the other one is just reset the name password storage device and see the storage okay after the the dash uh, the dash cam sd card is full it will re delete all videos and it will start recording new videos so that's it it's very simple so now the next thing is to test the camera you can download the videos right here to download the video you can go here back so this is the only video i have today so you can go like like this and you can go okay <laughs> that's me okay this is the test for the debut for the front camera the front camera is a 2k resolution it has a little bit like a fish eye view like a wide angle view and it has also a little bit of glare but the resolution is very good and very clear you can see the lenses plates very good and here you can see everything is nice and clean very nice and clear <laughs> now next on the rear view camera this is the debut 2 for the rear view camera the, the resolution is 1080p but it looks like a little bit like a brown color i don't know why maybe it's because of the tint of my car but the rear one looks a little bit brown but the resolution is still good it's still visible for the license plates and the cars that's good and this one is the rear camera now this is the night view of the camera this is the front camera view that front camera is a 2k resolution and it has a night vision as you can see it's very clear you can see the license plates very good and it's 
super clear at night it's like a, almost daylight <laughs> you can see it here so I, I'm very satisfied with this uh, resolution and the way that it looks everything looks clean and clear look at the license plates of the cars nice <laughs> yeah everything is good the resolution is amazing for the front camera it's amazing I like it a lot and you can see right here you're gonna see the license plates of the car super clear that's amazing now is this is the test for the night view for the rear camera remember the rear camera resolution is 1080p the resolution and this is the night view but it's still it gets a little bit uh, grainy uh, blurry okay but it's still visible as you can see you can you can see the cars the lights of the cars they get a little bit of the of glare but the, when the car it gets closer to the camera you can read the license plate let's see you can see it here when the car gets closer you can see right there you can see the license plate of the car okay guys now this is my opinion about this dash cam okay the resolution is great the size is amazing i love it it has a two channel camera so one camera to the front another one to the rear and it looks great both cameras it looks great the rear one is only 1080p and the front one is 2k resolution okay that is great another thing that i just found find find out is this one is it doesn't show the speed and the previous camera used to say how many miles per hour the car was driving this one doesn't say that i i couldn't find it on the app it, you cannot change it and the way to download the video is different but it's super easy you have to click uh, download and then share and you can save the video in your phone that's amazing you don't have to remove the sd card and take it to your computer and all that okay but other than that the camera is great the size is great the solution is good so it doesn't have only no speed on the video the only thing that it has is the date and the hour readings of the video okay the link for this product is gonna be on the description of the video down below also the hard wiring kit is gonna be on the link of the description on the video down below remember to get an sd card if you don't have sd card it's not gonna work you need that to store the files for the camera okay i'm gonna put a link in the description down below but you can get sd card on walmart any store okay 32 gigs i think that's the best you have 64 128 is is better <laughs> but if you have a 32 gigs uh sd card that's good enough okay let me know what you guys think on the comment links on the description of the video down below for all the tools and products that i use today from for this camera if you wanna get it if you like the video please like the video that helps the channel a lot subscribe for more videos like this one and see you on the next video